This is what park rangers in Australia are now calling Toadzilla, and it's not hard to see why. They say this is likely a record-setting amphibian, weighing in at a whopping six pounds. And while it's a hilarious nickname for an absolutely massive creature, experts at the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service in Australia say the implications of such a large toad might have an environmental impact. The problem with an animal that big is it changes the scope of what it can eat. So it increases its prey selection, so it would, uh, it would be able to eat larger food items than what normal cane toads would. So its impact on the environment um, is, is quite significant compared to a normal sized cane toad. And that's also why they say they've removed it from the park before it lays eggs. Oh yeah, Toadzilla is a female. One of the big problems with the cane toads is their, is their breeding capability. So female cane toad, like, like potentially Toadzilla would be, would would lay 35 up to 35,000 eggs so their their capacity to reproduce is quite staggering um, so and all parts of the cane toads breeding cycle are poisonous to Australian native species. Cane toads aren't even indigenous to Australia. They were first brought to the island nation in 1935 to help control beetle and other pest populations. But now Australia has another problem, an overabundance of cane toads.